Hey, folks, guess who's knocking on my door? Her name is Irene. And I'm going to try to keep her outside. I don't want her to come inside here. Let me show you what I've done to try to keep this greenhouse anchored down. Alright, to try to keep this thing anchored, what I did was uh, went and got some of my mobile home anchors. Got six of them. Put three down each side. Drove them in the ground. There's an anchor machine over there. Set that on top of it. Screw them right into the ground. Come on top of that. Instead of putting an anchor bolt in there, I just put a piece of rebar and attached this two inch nylon web into it. Strap, whatever you want to call it. And I got that run up over the top. Right here. Goes all the way over the top. Three different places, about ten foot apart. My end walls are solid 4x4s four in concrete, so they're pretty sturdy. Not too much worried about that. All I have to do is keep the middle of the frame intact, and we'll be okay. Anyway, that's what it looks like right now. Power's out. It's about 1 o'clock, give or take. Power went out about 10.30. I got my generator full of gas, extra gas on hand. Uh, I figure I can make it 7 to 10 days of what I got without having to go anywhere. Uh, if it comes to that, hopefully it won't. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, she wants to come in mighty bad. I'm gonna try to hold her off long as she can. This ain't looking good. I see y'all later. As you can see, she's still standing and we made it through. That was a long day Saturday. Today's Monday, been 48 hours now without electricity, but not really us without electricity because they had the generators and stuff running, but uh, 48 hours with uh, no power from the electric company, put it that way. These three straps that I put on the outside were the difference. Uh, without them, the greenhouse wouldn't have been here now. There were times when it was uh, bowing up pretty bad. On the inside, on the north wall over there, there was uh, probably three or four of the hoops that were actually uh, flattened out where they straightened up, trying to the top tried to pull up. But this worked out pretty good, and uh, I'm going to take this as a lesson. Out of everything bad, you ought to be able to find something good, and I learned a lot about this, being able to put these straps over the top and anchor this thing down. I'm working on my big greenhouse, and uh, I may not put the straps over all the time, but I would definitely put those anchors in and be ready to strap it down uh, if I need to. And I got to thank uh, Dale Calder for this. He just put up, a, I think, a 12 or a 16 by 24, something like that. And I was watching his video, and it looked like to me there was two black straps run across the top. And that's where I decided to strap it from the outside. I had planned on running anchors down the middle and uh, tying off to the frame on the inside and kind of letting the plastic do its thing but after I seen his video the light went on in my head and I said let's put him on the outside strap her down and see what she'll do as you can see my tomato plants look real good today my cucumbers coming on I really need to get some strings on them out here's where the big greenhouse is going 21 by 68 I'll show y'all a little bit more about that later on, but if you look at it, you see a lot of 4x4 posts. I'm not done putting them up, but you're probably asking yourself, who in the world puts up 4x4s on a greenhouse? After seeing what I saw Saturday, I feel pretty good about those posts right now. Once I get the hoops put up and get them secured to those posts, uh, two, two and a half foot deep in concrete, I think should be just fine.